dog. You can run dead on that. <laughs> that ain't what I turned in. Well, you need to work with the one you turned in. I screwed up the run, so I feel like I have to stay at it as hard as I can and try to fuse the flavor into my liquor. Josh, I made one of them energy drinks. I use strawberries and pineapples, and then just a touch of sugar. Now well, what's it doing? Getting ready to make a smoothie. I can see it coming. Yeah. You keep drinking and spitting they it. Keep tasting it. Ain't gonna have nothing to turn in neither. No. Well, he ain't making. He them, liked it. He ain't making them big, mean, scary faces no more. He no, must be liking not. it better, he, ain't he? Five minutes for them. Then you got twenty minutes. Josh, you gonna chill it out for us. Cold liquor tastes way better than hot liquor. I don't know what Mike's doing. He's getting ready to mess up. I'm very, very happy with what I've uh, created here, but it's a little more on the strawberry cherry flavor side than the lime flavor. What's he doing over there? He's got a lemon or lime half cut. Oh, he's getting ready to mess up some. Yeah, yeah, cut his has. finger. God. I don't want none of that we don't finger don't in, blood in there. He ain't going to do that. Yeah, I cut myself a little. Going to get a Band-Aid. First aid, you better go get it stitched up quick. Medic. One injury, that's one out. 15 minute time limit, that would be a nail in his coffin. his band aid. What do you think, Tim Smith? You know, Mikey had a little injury there, so it could have hampered his blending profile. But then again, it could have helped. He got less lime in it. <laughs> Some of that lime's in his finger now, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, it went to the finger. I don't think he put a whole lot of lime in there. You that saying you don't like lime? No. No. Oh. They don't know all the things I don't like, huh? There's a lot of things I don't like, ain't there? Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, I've worked with Tim Smith a long time, and if you're gonna please him, it's gonna be right. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I have played hell this entire contest. I may screw some things up, but somehow or another, I'm able to pull it off. I did the flavor, and I have to say so myself, it was absolutely excellent. Three minutes left, guys. Time to be putting everything together. OK. All right. I'm back. 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 Old thumb buster. Old thumb buster. <laughs> oh, oh. You busted, boy, and I know you He's would. all right till that thumb buster <laughs> come around. You never know what, how you miss a, a limb or a thumb until you ain't got it. <laughs> I'm out of time. This is my last chance. One minute, fellas. Marky, you got 16 minutes. A little bit of sugar. It looks to me like they're using that time to chill their jars out. I'm just trying to chill it to you guys. 10 seconds. There's my jar, guys. All right, the best Mike. I can do. Fruit punch. <laughs> I think Monk's got his jar. He's just going to drink on it for about 15 minutes. I know, and I hope he leaves us a little bit to taste. If it had been real ripe peaches, I wouldn't even had to bring some flavor out of them. The only thing I can do is put the sugar in. I tasted of it. I know that'd be the best flavor I could get, no matter what I done. That thing will be ice cold again. He brings it up here. Mm-hmm. Rest of my time, I'm just going to make some good cold liquor. It's the best I could do with it. Yeah, that's about as good as I can make it. I can't make it any better. Well, I, I like the sound of that. Yeah, I'm done. Look like we got lemonade and fruit punch. I don't get it. Good luck. <laughs> it's like herding cats, ain't it? It's like herding toddlers and chickens all at the same time. All right, whiskey pusher. Start right. dealing them. Let's start with the fruity, fruity guy here. The fruity pebbles. Yeah. Josh Owens, the artiste. The master of the still on Josh Owens. And he got a lot of stuff in there, primarily strawberries. He likes strawberries. And he's got pineapple sitting in the bottom, strawberries floating in the top. It almost looks like a smoothie drink. Maybe Josh wants us to be healthy drunks. I don't make a habit out of drinking pink liquor, but I thought it was awful nice looking. Right, it was pretty. The ladies like it. Well, yeah, if I could get it to calm down a little bit. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it smells like a strawberry. Yes, yeah, sir, that'd be exactly what it smells like. I'm tasting pineapple, I'm smelling pineapple. It's tropical. That's a great drink right there. But she is a touch proofy. Damn, it tastes good, though. Josh done good. Well, we got Mark. It looks like he's all peach. Did you make it sweet? You taste peach in I bet. 
My proof will be a little bit high. I don't know if that'll work out for me or not. The alcohol's still covering it up. Boy, you still, you still smell liquor in that? Yeah, there ain't no low proof in that. No, 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 he's still got the kick to it. Oh, yeah. That's high octane. Oh, that's, that's yeah. a liquor drink right there, ain't it? Too? Yeah. He added some more peach to it, but he didn't add no whole lot. The yeah. fact that he got a green peach to taste that good. Mm-hmm. That says something right there. Yeah. Wow. I like that. What's in that last jar over there? It looked like fruit punch. Well, let's see what she tastes like. He was aiming for cherry, and doggone if he didn't nail it by the look of it. It looks pretty thick. After that good ounce of blood that went in there, that's what got it good and red <laughs> after he split that thumb. Boy, it smells different. It smells like a fruit punch to me. It look, not only looks that way, it smells that way. You know, my proof, I, I blended a couple of my jars along with the flavor of my strawberries and cherries and lime. Well, I tell you, his lime did not overpower. That's because he cut his thumb off before he could squeeze it. It was really good before. That's a different taste profile, man. It influences it a little bit more. It's too much concentrate. I think the strawberry yeah. puree. That strawberry yeah. puree had strawberry. no place in that drink. Throwing extra strawberries into the cherry mix and the lime juice, it kind of killed the cherry then. Now, now it's almost like coffee yeah. medicine. He's still got yeah. plenty of alcohol in it. Yeah, he does. It's a good, it's a good drink. If that was put in a slushy machine, that would be something fantastic. It would right be there. really good. It don't matter who wins or loses. It's said we played the game. We play the game, we're all winners. And that's what every loser says, ain't it? <laughs> I like it. Every time. Every time. All right, well, I found these feathers. Oh, OK. Well, they're following you. Evidently, you did. Everybody here did a great job. Mike, yours was really good before for your flavor run. Cherry, and the proof is right on the money. But it did turn into a more of a fruit punch, I feel like. Good liquor. But I think you tried so hard, you over-enhanced the strawberry flavor. Josh, man, you had a little foo pot on your flavor run. But all in all, you come through with a real decent jar of liquor. You enhanced it properly with the fruit. But your proof is very high. Uh, Mark, even though you know you didn't have a good peach to work with, you work with it. Cooking in peaches to flavor your base liquor. That's what brought you through. And it's got peach flavor in it like I wouldn't have expected. But I think if you'd proofed it down a little better, your flavors would have come to the front a little better. But all in all, everybody did a wonderful job. Congratulations to all of you. Now, this prize over here is a functioning steel. It's going home with Mark Rogers. Congratulations, brother. I know that looked good on the far place, <laughs> but I think. There you go, Mark. I sure think. Congratulations, Congratulations brother. brother. That is a pretty little rig, ain't you? Yes, it is.